Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Today I'm making a video to explain to somebody how to add a PayPal button or link to their blog post in order for someone to buy one of their products that they want to sell. So the first thing that you need to do is log into your PayPal account and then go to the Merchant Services tab and click it. Then you want to look for the Create Payment buttons for your website and click that tab as well. Now this will take you to a section explaining to you the different buttons that are available from PayPal, but since we only want the Buy Now button, we're just going to create this, create it, we're going to hit the Create a Button link and fill out the information that they require. So choose the button type, which is a Buy Now, and then place the item name in here. Let's say that you are selling an audio product, so we'll call this Audio Product. And you don't need the item ID, but I always put one in there. So this is my audio number one, selling it in 2013. And my price for the audio, whichever that is, is $7. Choose the currency for your particular region. And then you want to go down and leave shipping zero because you're not going to be shipping it out. You're going to be, it's going to be a downloadable product from your website. So you don't need to add shipping. And if you need to charge tax, that's what the rate you put your rate in here and under merchant account IDs you don't want your primary email address showing up in your button link so click use my secure merchant account ID and make sure that box is checked and then go down to step number three this will give us some customized uh, information do you want to let your customers change order quantities no since they're only ordering one audio can your customer add special instructions you can leave that at yes if you want, but I usually say no. Do you need your customer shipping address? Well, if you're not shipping it anywhere, you really don't need it, but I keep that checked at yes anyway. Now, these next two boxes take the customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout. In the event that they've changed their mind in the middle of this transaction, where do you want to send them? I usually send them back to the page they came from, which in this case would be the blog post. So whatever is the URL to this blog post that you're selling this audio from, put that page right into this box. Then once the order is complete, they finish their transaction, where do you want to send them? And generally you want to send them to a download page, so click this box and then put the URL to your download page for this audio file. Now once you have that all done, you can come down here to the bottom that says create a button and you can create your button. PayPal will give you code in this box for your website. So se select the code by hitting this button. Go inside the box, right click with your mouse and say copy. Then you want to go back to your blog post and you want to enter that code inside your blog post. So I'm going to put mine right here. I'm in the text section. Under the text section tab, I'm going to right click and say paste this plain text. So that takes care of the Buy Now button. Now let's go back to PayPal and show you what it's like in order to create a link. So if you click Email here, you'll see now that PayPal supplies us with the link. So we're going to highlight this. We're going to right click and say Copy. We're going to go back to our blog post and then I'm going to write something in here that says, click here to buy my audio now. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to hit link. I'm going to paste that code in there from PayPal. Right click and say paste this plain text and then title this Buy Now. I like to open it up in a new window so that they you know keep that blog post uh, in front of them and then say add link. So what this will do is it will add a Buy Now button plus a link in your blog post. So I mean you can use whichever one you want. And then in order to test it to make sure it works, go over here to the right hand side of this blog post and say save draft. And once you've saved it, then you can preview that post. And you can check out your buy now button or your link to make sure that both work. So let's click click the link. Let me move this over here first you can see this. Click here to buy my audio now, and it should take the person back to PayPal. 
and it does. And they will be able to fill in the rest of their information and their email and their PayPal password. Now let's go back to our post and click this buy now button and make sure this works as well and there you go so if you have any other questions please feel free to ask them until then you take care be safe have fun and I'll talk to you soon